I'm pretty sure I've told you before, but I'm a huge TMNT fan. I also feel like I say that about a lot of things, but I can't help it. I love what I love, and this is one of those things. I love Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I've met Eastman. I got some comics signed. I love it. That being said, we're talking Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Mutant Mayhem. Spoiler warning, just in case you haven't seen it, welcome to I Just Watched. I'm Joseph. I'm trying to say how I feel about this, but it's I'm in this weird situation where there's parts of it that I really like, there's parts of it that I kind of loved, and then there's parts of it that I did not like, and then there's parts of it that I hate entirely. This movie has moments when I'm like, this is a damn good movie. I would rewatch it for this. And rewatchability being my thing, I'm like, yes. But then there's moments when I'm like, I dislike this and I hate this. I wouldn't watch it because of this. I'm very in this middle ground where I don't want to say the movie's okay. Because I think part of it is great. But then another part of it is completely garbage. Also, depending on your perspective generationally. I mean, if you're a younger cat... If you're in the younger generation, you'll probably like it. I mean, they're straight in your face. It's, it's like nonstop pop culture references from start to finish, which I understand the Turtles being teenagers should have some references and there should be some tie-in, but it didn't feel like there's a tie-in for the characters or the story. It felt like they're teenagers in the modern day. We need to throw stuff out like Riz, Drake, uh, New York, and just drop things that are relevant to pop culture. It didn't feel like it was cohesive to the characters. It just felt like they're teenagers living in the modern age. Shove this in people's faces because that's going to tell you they're teenagers. I dislike that. The voices that I was worried about, the kids did great. The turtles, I like their voices. I like their playfulness. Their design to me is without question the best. It felt the cleanest. It looked the best on screen. Their fight scenes were wonderful. That being said... These turtles learn ninjutsu by watching old karate movies. I don't understand how they're really teenage mutant turtles who know karate. That's basically it. Splinter, I think Jackie Chan and Splinter, they had some great dialogue back and forth. I think he did good, but I like his design when he was younger Splinter Papa versus older Splinter Dad. Design wise, I like, you know, the human design was god awful throughout the whole movie. Like everyone looked wonky and funky and I'm assuming it was done on purpose. I just didn't like it. And this is probably my least favorite use of step animation so far. Overall, I think it's an enjoyable movie. I think it's worth going to the theater. Great music. I mean, they picked nothing but like bangers. And if you love hip hop, you'll love the soundtrack. The score was okay. There definitely wasn't enough care for the turtle lore because they did kind of whatever the hell they wanted. But at the same time, there was enough just to present all these mutants that technically exist like Mondo Gecko. And I mean, Superfly was cool but then his kaiju design was garbage and lazy i think there's gonna be a crowd of people who know nothing about tmnt maybe nothing more than like the nickelodeon shows or things like that who are gonna love it but then you're gonna have a crowd of people who know the lore even way better than i do who i think are not gonna like it nowhere near as much so for your vast audience eh, i think it's gonna be a successful movie i think it's a fun movie great music some cool moments Overall, rewatchability wise, though, I wouldn't go back to the theater to watch it. I'll watch it again when it's streaming, like on Paramount. Even then, if I'm being fully honest, what's pulling me back is just my genuine love for the Turtles. The storyline for this movie feels <laughs> very similar to the storyline we got with Michael Bay's Turtles, where they're hooked up to a machine, they're sitting in the butt for the ooze. And here, the biggest difference is they call it milking for the joke, which was funny, but then it was like nonstop. And then they try to introduce Shredder at the end, but like, I don't know, just all the mutants are good guys now. So I don't know, like it just, hmm. Rewatchability wise, like I said, it's not that rewatchable for me. It really, as a fan, I'd rather not rewatch it. Definitely not going back to the theater. I want to hear your thoughts, comments, questions, concerns. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Have you seen it? Should you see it? Uh, I don't know, honestly. I very hesitantly say you can watch it and you'll probably enjoy it. You'll probably enjoy it enough to where going to the theaters was worth it. But mm, I want your thoughts, comments, questions, concerns. I definitely want to hear your opinion if you've seen it. How'd you like it? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Down below. You know, I love hearing from you. But until next time, stay safe. Be well. Y con mucho amor. Adios.